and we're back for another episode. In this episode I'm going to be going for the Ninja Relic. So the Ninja class was added into patch 2.4 and now that I've hit level 50 and finished the level 50 class quest for Ninja I can now get my Relic. So as always hello from Bifree and we are back here with Geralt here in North Shroud yet again. So the Ninja Relic is called the Yoshi Mitsu. So Geralt has the air of a man defeated. So just let me make one thing clear. It might be as I'm repairing kettles to pay for yesterday's mead, but I still got me pride as a master weapon smith. You'll get no less than the finest out of me forge. And it might be as you've got the goes down slip of paper, but it'll only get you so much. Restoring relics like these calls for some rare old materials, and I ain't got none. So if you want the job done, you'll have to run along and fetch them for me. So what is it you want restored? Fancy yourself a ninja, eh? Well, drown me in wine and call me a moogle. You'll be wanting a pair of Yoshimitsu then, won't you? That's two trisky pieces of steel. I, t I tell you, only a few in the Orsia have even heard the name. A few more know the old rhyme about the bloke what forged them. Mayhap you are among them, no? Um, ah well, it goes something like this. There was once a f far eastern smitty, well versed in making blades pretty, far thicker than most of dagger he'd boast, and its thrust was well known in the city. Hmm, might be the prick in that poem ain't the point of no blade. Uh, Any anyway, road, the man forged fine steel what bears his name. Fact of it is, his daggers have graced the hands of many a hero and heir to a high house. You know, Yoshimitsu daggers have been on my mind of late. Down at the tavern, I heard something about Laminza's raiding a Galleon ship and plundering a pair of old blades from her hold. Seems the privateers lost their booty when they ran afoul of the fishback, so. Now the whole thing reeks of grog, and that ought to mean something coming from yours truly. But if there's an ounce of truth to the story, then your daggers will be somewhere in the Sasper tr spawning grounds. Okay, so first step of a relic reborn is to go pick up a pair of rusty old relics that then get restored to be your relic. So we need to go to Aleport and then run all the way to the far end of the Sasper spawning grounds to go get them. And each relic quest as well has got its own backstory as well. So it is nice to hear the backstory of each relic just to see the history behind the weapon, see what, you know, where it's been, why it ended up where it is and the steps you need to do to restore it. I mean, in terms of the actual materials to restore the relic, it's always the same. It's always the same process of get the relic, get a um, item as a foundation, then get materials from Chimera and Hydra and um, Antibal Keep and so on. But the, the story of each is different, so I do like to record it from every point of view. And for now, Ninja will be the last point of view available in the game, because I've already recorded every other job's relic quest. But we'll see in the future if they'll actually add in relics for Dark Knight and Astrologian and um, the Gunslinger class in the expansion or not. Like, I wonder if they'll have relic quests or not. And if they do, I wonder if we will start from the beginning or if it will just skip straight to level 60 and then continue from there. So we have to go through here. I'm not worried about this area because I'm really really overgeared. As a item level 114 ninja I could probably two shot these. It's possible that you can get aggro, and um, if you have aggro while in the area, you won't be able to loot the chest, but it said it won't be difficult to deal with it. Okay, so, almost there, almost there.
Okay, so it's around here somewhere, so I need to keep an eye out. There it is. Thankfully, quest items glitter, so they're easily identified. Cool, that's that. So let's now go back to Geralt in North Shroud. So let's go. That wasn't so bad. I remember one of the relics, I can't remember which class, but one of the relics was hidden right in the middle of Z Zanrak in Southern Fanalan, and that place is densely populated with Amalgia. So getting that chest I found quite challenging. And if I remember rightly, getting the Bard one was actually in Natalan in near Camp Drybone in... Sorry, not Drybone, Camp Dragonhead in Corphus. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So, oh my sir. So, it's a run that I've done from <laughs> Forgot Flow back to Girol a billion times <laughs> before. But it's just part of the process of getting a relic. Okay, here we are, so let's now talk to Geralt and see what the next thing is. So it says deliver a pair of Time One Yoshi Mitsu to Geralt. So let's do that now. So it says, you know, Yoshi Dicks, you, oh, this is what he said before. Now the whole thing's blah, blah, blah. So he, he repeats what he said to you just before you left, so let's hand them over. So it says, well, bugger me, never me in my wildest drunken dreams that I imagine you'd actually find the bloody things. But I'll have to fire up the forge after all. Having said that, the relic's in far worse shape than I thought. It ain't like to survive much pounding in this state. Truth be told, I'd be worried about sneezing near it. We're gonna need a new host, what'll give itself for the restoration. You need to bring me a pair of vampire knives, one with two grade three Heaven's Eye Materia Melder to them. They'll serve as the vessel for the restored relic. Remember, that's two grade three Heaven's Eye materia, or less, and you'll get naught from me, no matter how many sips of paper you wave on me face. Okay, so let's now hand over the item, because I got it prepared ahead of time. So as you can see there, Vampire uh, Knives with Heaven's Eye materia free, two of them melded to it. It doesn't matter if it's high quality or normal quality, I just made it high quality because I am obsessed with high quality. So anyway, Really want to hand over high quality, yes. It really didn't cost me much to make it. So, ah, tis a fine base you've brought me, and just the thing to host your relic. I've merged what was left of the relic with the host's weapon, so the groundwork's done. But don't go jumping for joy just yet, there's still more to do. I need to work on the finishing touches, but due to the reinforcement work I have to do, the weapon's proving rather stubborn to shape. To get around this, we'll be needing some al alumina salts, a substance made by grinding a rock called alumina into fine grains. Unlucky for you though, it ain't easy to get hold of. Mayhap you already know this, but there are beasties out there what devour their prey whole, and some of them swallow rocks so as to aid with digestion. The Dawn Chimera, what terrorizes the central highlands of Corphus, happens to swallow Illumina Salts for this purpose. Slay the bugger and bring me the Illumina Salts, and I'll see the finishing touches on your weapon. So the Dawn Chimera can be confronted via the Duty Finder upon examining the quest destination situated at the Weeping Saint in Corphus Central Highlands. Please note, the trial a relic reborn the Chimera must be completed as a ninja. Cool. So I've obviously I've done this a billion times before. You need to run to up here to actually unlock it, but once you've done it the first time, then you can just use the duty finder to access the quest. 
So if I look now at my trials list, right here I wrote it on the Chimera. So I just simply need to join it in the duty finder and I can save myself the run of going there. So that's it. So the next episode will be me doing the Chimera and then working towards the next part of the Reddit quest. So anyway guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching and as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri.